Be sure to visit my Facebook group, Hollywood Shono Gaming, for the latest gaming needs. Also, check out my Twitch at Hollywood Shono and my Hollywood Shono YouTube live streams for all premieres of past live streams on Twitch. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shinda of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another WWE Mayhem video. Now, as you guys might have recalled, the last couple of weeks, I did not do an official version 24 update. However, the update that has presented us today is worth mentioning. Now, a couple of things to note is that rage quitting is back, so if you force close the game, say you have a bad attempt in an ultra, you can now force close and redo it. Also, supposedly... What got fixed in this update is if you're using multiple devices to get multipliers in Alliance, it'll actually deactivate your multiplier, meaning that you are unable to get it. So now you will only be allowed to use one device in order to farm multipliers. Now, hopefully in the near future, those that actually got Alliance for whatever reason are able to get multipliers because there's two people currently in my Alliance, Yao and kiss that cannot get multipliers so hopefully that gets addressed and they can get multipliers and like usual when you have this adapter connected on ios 12 you will have to turn it off in order to open the game i wish they would fix that but reliance games uses android devices primarily now as you guys know the uh revolution update with the women has been ongoing for about two weeks now and We've had four females, Ember Moon, Carmella, Bailey, and Sasha Banks, and Natalia is available as of today. Now, one important thing I want to note is Versus. This is an important change that warrants its own video, and this is why I'm doing an update on it. Now, the Naomi Versus is still around. So, one thing that they have cha Oh, Carmella's come back. Nice. So... Yeah, it looks like they got rid of One Star Versus finally. Thank God for that, because I really got annoyed by it. So, now, Two Star Versus is one and two stars. So, you're free to use your One Stars and Two Star Versus. As long as you use Max Out Two Stars, you should be able to use uh, One Stars when the multiplier is 3x. If not, I'm going to yell at Reliance Games and make sure they fix it, because you should be allowed to do that. So, the rewards. We're going to talk about the rewards. Now, as you guys can see, the rewards in... Two star versus basically unchanged. There could be a little bit more cash at the top end, but to my knowledge, it doesn't look that much different. Possibly slightly more respect, and it's a start. I'd like to see more milestone rewards for everything, but actually getting 90,000 is pretty easy for a veteran player. The rank rewards for the two star versus, I always thought was fair. Now, when we get into three star versus, this is where the rewards have been garbage. So you can see that the cash has been increased significantly for the first three multipliers. You will get 20, like 22,000, 23,000 cash for getting 60,000 score. Can any random person get 23,000 cash? Yes. My only problem is why did they not continue the cash rewards above and beyond? Do they want more internal testing before they add that in? I really like that they've drastically increased the amount of premium keys, since we know premiums generally mean two stars, so to get that in line with three stars is slightly better. The respect, a lot of respect for playing in three star versus, so they want a greater emphasis on getting cash and getting more respect is their way of doing it. Even if it's only 1,000 cash, that's still 1,500 cash you're basically guaranteed. So that could be why the respect increases, but I wish they would have went a little bit above and beyond with the cash for multipliers 4 through 10. I guess they figured the average casual player is going to get to the third multiplier. But the big thing here is that if you get 1 to 50, this is actually the 4-star versus. If you get 1 to 50, you're going to get 175 5-star keys like you're overdriving a 4-star. The only reason this is bad is because if you already own a four-star Natalia from doing loot cases, now people are going to do versus in order to get an overdrive or to get five-star keys. This is good for the whales because it means more gateways to five-star characters. Now, it is a generic five-star keys. 
I'm pretty sure that they get turned into the shared five star keys. I'm not sure. Um, the four tier three basic and the three tier two basically guarantees a rank up to two if you get a four star. So this is really good for new four stars. I feel that four stars really start gaining power once they get to rank three, but that's a start. Um, and even in top 10%, you're going to get 155 star keys, 105 star keys, 250 four star keys. So, wow, that's crazy. So, if the Anvilette tops out with, say, 50 players as the rewards, well, you're not going to get the top 10% rewards. But generally, top 10% is going to be over 500 people. So very likely, four star versus is going to get a huge bump in people. And you do have to score 60,000. I think that's fair. I wish they'd take that away so more people would actually get ranked. But it's a start. It's really a start. And for the three star versus, they have drastically increased the amount of premium keys to 250 and 500. But again, the gold and cash, I feel, are meh. Like, why are we, they still being cheap with the golden cash? But again, it's an improvement. And finally, rank 1 to 50, as we've been complaining about for a while, gets a 3 star. Highly doubt we're going to see the top 10% rewards, but if they took away the beginner bracket, you might see that. Now, I don't like, again, that you need score to unlock rank. 32,000 is not impossible within 3 days, but again, I really don't like it. We'll have to see, though. And the fact that if top 10% does get you four-star keys, well, that's pretty good. Now, as much as I want to sit on my razor blade and play Borderlands 3, I think I might actually try out Versus and see how it's going on. Now, the Staten Island Princess, it looks like um, those rewards have not changed. Yep, it's still ranked 1 to 15 for Carmella. I really want to get four-star Carmella, so... Do I do three star versus? Do I do four star versus? Do I try and gut out two million to get Carmella? Because I really want to overdrive her. Carmella is amazing. Carmella is probably the best female in the game. Better than Alexa Bliss, although Naomi with double vulnerables, which you don't need a timer for, only gets uh, hindered by debuff immune, which I believe is Trish Stratus, Carmella, and activated by Alexa Bliss is the only three capable of doing it. So, yeah. I think they need to work on the cash a little bit more. I don't think the whole esteem case is really going to fix things. Because let's face it, the esteem case doesn't give you that much cash. You get 5,000 cash maximum. They did not implement my proposed up to 50,000 cash in esteem cases. And I think it would be a little bit more justified. If they increase the amount of cash you get out of esteem cases, that'll help. But we'll have to see. This is still subject to testing. So if we find out that we get a lot more esteem now per match, this could be better. Let's actually do a fight in versus. That way we can see that. So let's do uh, one star versus because I really don't want to have people exhausted during that. So let's do one star versus. Let's do a match. Now, one other thing that's been a big problem with one star versus. Unless they actually implement more one stars in the game, which there have been uh, rumors that... We are getting Natalia, Ember Moon, and somebody else as a one star. I feel that one star versus is bad. I feel that the game should screw over new players and veterans should be the ones reaping the benefits. Again, that could be me being a dick because I have a level 73 count. All my one stars are maxed out. I have a good amount of two stars maxed out. I have four at overdrive 50. Rusev is overdrive 49. Easily could get 50. So, really do I feel one star versus is good for the game? No, it's boring. I like playing with two, three, and four stars because it just feels more like a game and it's not cookie cutter. Well, nobody's better than the other. Well, if you have four star versus, now you can go above the upper limits and face stronger opponents and beat them because the AI in versus is not as cheesy as the AI in insane difficult. Sometimes it is. But if you play smart, you can still beat them. Hence, play defensively like I did in the Booker T Ultra. Well, not necessarily the Ultra, but the Weekly Ultra. If you play smart, 
It's gonna be okay. Uh -oh. Here we're gonna we go for special one on Seth Rollins, and let's see what oh the rewards are. We'll have to see what the rewards actually are going to be within He's these new verses because I don't think they're going to change the rewards in old verses. If you're getting more than 50 respect a match, that's going to be a lot better. I feel that you don't get enough per match. So if you're getting 150, 200, granted this is old verses, but if you're getting, let's say, 200, 250 a match, that means you're getting 250 cash for playing versus. It's actually more beneficial spending time in versus than clearing out certain events. Now, obviously, you want to clear out all the events that give revolution keys, but it's a start. It's definitely a start. So, I don't like one star versus. I'm happy to see it gone. But, I'm hoping that the casino aspect of WW Mayhem gets reduced. And they put in more offers to buy characters outright and skip the loot cases. And I'm not talking about just gated content like uh, Brawler Corbin, Powerhouse Samoa Joe, Brawler Roman Reigns. I'd like to see more offers for characters. Like, what about if people like Seth Rollins? They could buy the High Flyer Seth Rollins. What if people want Becky Lynch? What if people want Doink the Clown? They could just buy him outright. I would like to see that more. And I think Reliance Games would generate more revenue if you could outright buy characters versus loot cases. I hate loot case gambling. It's just like with Mortal Kombat Mobile. I hate loot case gambling. Gambling is bad to teach in a game. So to be able to outright buy characters would be great. There's still some things that need to be fixed internally within WW Mayhem. One of my biggest complaints about WW Mayhem right now is a game mode called Endless Story. Where is Endless Story? Did they? No, here it is. Endless Story. Okay. So, my biggest problem right now with Endless Story is the rewards. They're really outdated. And three energy per match on Superstar difficulty is totally unacceptable. So, is it worth getting these kind of rewards for playing Endless Story when you have to fight opponents... I mean, they're not really that bad, but I would just like to see story mo Endless Story get an overhaul. And I'd like to see some sort of return to Rivals, as I thought that game mode was cool. Even if it was a separate game mode where you have to check in every few hours and maybe you get respect rewards, I don't know. But I'd like to see Rivals return, and I'd like to see Endless Story focus on, because three energy per match is dumb. None of these fights in Endless Story should cost three energy even at 15 gold it's not worth doing because you're having to spend 20 30 energy just to get through like if we take one path you're spending 24 energy in order to actually complete this so are you actually getting 15 gold you're getting zero gold for doing this and if we're talking this pathway here 10 gold and you're spending how much energy? You're spending 16 energy for 10 gold. And this one you're going to spend 16 energy or 8 energy for 5 gold. So how are you going to farm in this game? You really can't. And when you're fighting high level 4 stars, why are we getting 2 stars only as rewards? Why can't we get 3 stars in Endless Story? I think that would make the mode a little bit better to grind. Now... The other problem is, if you're not level 70, you're not going to be making any profit playing this mode. So this mode is basically a waste of time. It is a way to play the game, but if you look when you actually start a match, you can see that when you actually go into a match, no XP. Yes, you get 58 cash, but Superstar difficulty of events gives 120 cash. Okay. Yes, the title bonus rewards are pretty cool because you do get more cash. But where's the XP? Why is there no XP beyond epi um, beyond Season 5 of Endless Sword? Why are there so many bad features in this game mode? This is where I think Reliance Games needs to actually take a look. Because I feel that Endless Story is a cool idea for a game mode. But the rewards are so outdated... And I feel that in version 26, this is what we need to beta test. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you guys like the versus changes. And if you guys think that Endless Story is the next game mode that needs an overhaul. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids.
And check down below for the donation Mr. Beast gave me a couple days ago. Absolutely amazing. Go give him some love too. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!